Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going back in time. I'm telling you all about why I decided to learn how to code. Let's get started. Everything started seven years ago. I was back then a business student at university studying classic business stuff and a friend of mine suggested we take a few extra courses in, in computer science. Uh, and I was like, yeah, why not? We might be cool, we might build some websites. Um, surely it's gonna be interesting. I didn't look at anything, I just said yes. Probably the worst decision of my life. It was way too advanced. It was like deep dive into a computer science degree. I was not ready for it, I failed miserably. So now the big question is, how do I go from being a complete failure to being able to build apps? Well, fair enough, I failed. So I went back to doing business stuff the way I was doing since the beginning, uh, started my master's degree and then had my final internship at a major FMCG firm. And at the end of that internship in 2013, um, they offered me a job, but at the same time, a few friends of mine were launching a startup. They had raised money, and they were like, yeah, we need a marketing guy, so you should come join us, it's gonna be fun. Um, and I was like, okay, I need to take a decision here. Um, I ended up saying no to that job offer and I joined my friends and we launched a startup together. When I joined them, I was the first employee. Um, there were three guys, two software engineers, and one of my best friends, the CEO, who knew also how to code because he had built stuff in the past. So I was the first employee, I was also the, the, the only non-technical guy in the team. And my role was growth hacking, marketing stuff, social media. And very quickly, I started to realize that the fact that I didn't know anything about the technical stuff was going to undermine me in that startup. So I was the one in touch with the users. I was getting feedbacks. I was getting feature requests. I was getting lots of information I had to process and then deliver back to the team in a meaningful way, but since I didn't really understand the technical world, it was very tricky for me to understand if what I was going to say or suggest or uh, what the users were asking for was realistic, feasible, crazy complex, ridiculous to even ask when you're a startup and you're trying to grow. So I had no clue. And that was really undermining me um, in terms of, you know, feeding back decisions, uh, trying to influence our product pipeline, um, and that was very, very frustrating. So I stayed at that startup for about a year. Um, then I left, went back home, decided what I wanted to do next with my life. And that's when I read that book called um, The 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. It completely blew my mind and I knew from that point onwards I wanted to start making, you know, passive revenues and have side projects and stuff. And um, that's when I decided to launch a YouTube channel. I had tons of time, I was applying for jobs, I was bored. And that was the period where everybody was launching uh, music promotion YouTube channels. So I was like, yeah, fair enough, I'll do that. It sounds, sounds pretty simple, I love music, I'll find good tracks, I'll put nice photos in the background, and there we go. Um, but since everybody was doing the same thing, it was a nightmare to drive traffic to these videos. So I was struggling, I was posting lots of content, but there was so much that it was impossible to stand out. So I needed a quick way to drive tons of traffic. And I remembered one of my growth hacks from the startup I was before, we were using the, 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 that website called Ask FM, which is basically a website where teenagers go and ask questions to each other. Um, and you can ask questions to any, anyone in the world. It's, it, it was super easy to use at that time. Uh, and back at the startup, we were like spamming the world, pasting links to our app and to our website. And I was like, I could probably do the same thing for my YouTube videos. But I had one major problem. That process of literally spamming people on Ask.fm was super manual. You had to go copy paste stuff, change that person's name so it looks real. It was a bit of a nightmare. But at the same time, I remembered from the days of the startup that these engineers I was working with, they knew how to build scripts and bots and they, they knew how to automate processes and it sounded like a game for them. It was simple and it sounded super easy. Um, and that's basically where I realized that 
it was time to get back on track and to learn how to code again in my own way and this time to make it work. So I had obviously no idea where to start. Um, I only remembered these guys were good at Python. I had basically no clue what it was. Uh, so I, I started Googling around and I very quickly ended up on, on that website called udacity.com. At that time, and I think they still have it, they had a course called CS101, Introduction to Computer Science. Um, and they were just teaching Python and the, the very, very basics of programming. And I was like, okay, it's a three months course. I'm gonna try and do it for a couple of weeks and see how it goes. And I had in mind what I wanted to build. So it, it already helps a bit. So I started that course. The teacher and the TAs were really nice. It was all video based with exercise and challenges at the end of the chapters. Um, really well thought out, simple, very well designed for beginners. Um, and it started to click because I was going at my own pace. I had time to understand things, go back behind, no pressure. You could really do it your way. And I ended up finishing the whole thing in three weeks instead of, instead of three months. Then I started researching how I could build my script. Um, and it took me about a month maybe. And I had a running script using like web libraries and, you know, doing all my work of copy pasting the questions and sending them through and basically spamming people and driving traffic to my videos. And uh, I think a year later, I had about two, 2 million views on that YouTube channel. So it did really work. And for the first time in my life, I had built something from scratch alone without help from anyone. And the feeling was amazing. So that was great. But that still doesn't tell us how I went from knowing that and building a small bot to building apps now on the App Store for everyone to download. So in between these months where I was running that YouTube channel, I moved to London. I ended up getting a job and one of my best friends was all, also living in London and he, he discovered a course on Udemy.com where the teacher was basically teaching students how to build 15 real iOS apps. And he was like, hey, have, you, have a look at this. It's, it's 10 bucks and it says that it's going to teach you to build 15 apps. At the beginning, I was a bit skeptical. But because I had learned how to program with this first course, and don't get me wrong, I wasn't a programmer at that time, I was just a quick hacker, if we want, um, I basically gained confidence. I wasn't scared anymore to, uh, to feel stupid again and start something from scratch. So we ended up taking that course. We started building real apps following that teacher without really understanding every, everything about iOS just yet, but the feeling was awesome. And it really got us started. And from there, I took another, like in the next 18 months, probably another 10 or 12 courses, launched a first few apps. This has been a really amazing journey so far. And it started from a very bad experience, if you remember. So it really shows that everything is possible. So obviously this video is mostly about the why I decided to learn how to program the trigger and the mindset at the moment I decided to get started again. Um, now, if you're more interested in the iOS journey per se and all the courses I've taken specifically for iOS to learn how to build apps, I'll do another video very soon where I cover all the courses I've taken um, from that very first course I mentioned today up to the 10th or 11th one uh, I'm now taking because obviously I'm still learning. It's an ongoing process. So I'll do a new video very soon where I discuss all these things. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, if you've enjoyed that video, please uh, leave a nice comment or give me a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. And um, yeah, stay tuned. There's much more content coming up. See ya.